fight. We cannot proceed. I mean, we could proceed without fighting, but I choose to fight. Hello, sir. Please don't block me. I'm here to murder you. Get bled. How does a giant machine like you even bleed? Beats me, dude. I really hope that Melia had time to make some things. Oh, she did. Good. How do I want to do this? I want to Gale Slash, Worldly Slash, and then hopefully get a Blossom Dance. Hiropon got this one, even though he missed all time. Hiropon Agility, not that good. All right, we got the times five poison, so like, we're probably pretty set here, especially because my poison is boosted now. Yes! Yes! Blossom Dance! Oh, look at this beautiful damage, chat. You love to see it. That was like over a quarter of its health. That was like 33% of its health. Zap. Well, I mean, this is a little unfortunate, but I guess in this is instance, I do happy happy. Oh, it ended there. Anyways, perfect. The Zekrom booty robot. They do all have the Zekrom thing. That's gotta be like Zekrom's tail and, oh, dang it, Titan Stamp. I hate that move. Thankfully, I'm immune to blowdown. Zekrom's tail and then, like, all of the face mechons flying stuff. That has to be some kind of, like, thing. Oh, you died. Nice. That has to be some kind of, like, thing in machinery or electrics that I just don't know about. And that's, like, where the design came from. Didn't black and white come out, like, around the time this game came out, too? So it's not like they, like, copied one another or anything. It's gotta come from something else. Some kind of generator, maybe? Yeah, it's gotta be something like that. When did Black and White come out? Didn't those games come out in like 2009, 2010? And then this game came out in Japan in like 2011 or 2010? Like even, even if one of them came out like a year or two before the other, the other game would have already been in development and like those designs already done well before the other game came out. So it's not like they were based off of one another or anything. It has to be from something else. Or it's a crazy weird coincidence. Sneaky. Uh, goodbye, sir. It's been nice knowing you, but not really. Hey, level 46. Good job, everyone. Pokemon Black and White were September 18th, 2010. Xenoblade was June 10th, 2010. Wow, really? So wait, so yeah, Xenoblade came out first. I really thought that Black and White came out like a year before Xenoblade. That's surprising. Also, they came out within months of each other. So yeah, there's no way that they like had anything to do with one another at all. Even if they are both Nintendo properties. What do you mean returning to Dunban's former glory? Dunban has always been glorious. That never changed. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Up, armored unit. Time to die. Yeah, bring all your friends into the fight so they can die with you. Step one, spin. Step two, chain attack. Step three, spin again. Step four, question marks. Step five, prop. Hero Pond got this. Oh my word, it's dead. It died. Alright, you're also dead. Goodbye, sir. Very nice. Nailed it. You might die to this if it's... Oh, it's not bolt. It's poison. Never mind. Poison actually did way less than I expected it to there. Uh, goodbye. You're alive? I should have... Yeah, I should have used spear break there. I wasn't thinking. It would have been so funny. Problem for me is you must have Shulk in your team to damage Mechon or... Well, no, you can have anti-Mechon weapons. When you get to Sword Valley, like in the early game, you're right. You need to have Shulk in the party so that you can use the Monado Enchant. Otherwise, you have to like topple the Mechon to hurt them, which is a major hassle. But, uh... Wait a minute, which... I want to go this way because this is where the unique enemy is. But uh, when you get here to Sword Valley, which you don't run into too many Mechon... Other than you run into a lot of Mechon in the early game, like on Bionis Leg and at Colony 6 and all that... But then after that, you don't run into that many Mechon until you get here to Sword Valley. And then Sword Valley is, uh, they sell you anti-Mechon weapons, so you no longer have to rely on Shulk. Or you could keep relying on Shulk if that's what you'd like to do. Yeah, Dunban also, when Dunban joins the party, he has an anti-Mechon weapon, so he can just hurt them out the gate. And, uh, 
Dunban also has... I can't open this yet. I forgot. I have to go turn it on somewhere, but I forget where. Did I already walk past the thing? Dolgan outpost? I did both of those outposts. Was it up in here, maybe? I don't remember where you turned this on at. I think it's up here on the left. But uh, Dunban also starts with a weapon that can hurt Mechon. And Dunban also has a Gale Slash, Electric Gut Buster, and Steel Strike. So as long as you're not fighting like a big mech on that like resists break, Dunban can hurt them and also topple them for the others to hit them. And then also uh, mech on can still be hurt by ether. So Ricky and Melia, especially Melia, have a bunch of ether attacks. And even if you have a weapon that can't hurt mech on, their ether attacks still hurt mech on as well. So really you don't need Shulk as long as you like work out the other ways to play the game. Because, like, if you don't want to use Shulk, then you just need to play with, like, Dunban, who starts with an anti mech on weapon. Or uh, play as Melia or Ricky, who use a bunch of Aether attacks that affect mech on even if they're, uh... Even if they're not using anti mech on weapons. Or you can get to Sword Valley and then buy a bunch of anti mech on weapons. Plenty of options. Most people are just like... And I was the same way when I first played. Most people are just like, oh hit mech on using chant and so they think like the only way to do it is to uh to have shulk use enchant but that is uh most certainly not the case the game gives you a couple of different ways that you can hurt mech on it's just that the easiest way is to is to have shulk use enchant by far your days are numbered and by numbered i mean you're dead Ah, uh, yes, a quality plug. I don't remember if there's any purpose into going in this little side path that I'm going in right now, but boy howdy, I'm doing it. I think this is the wrong way, though. I think that this was an alternate way to get around the, uh... An alternate... Ah, oh, dang it, you saw me. This was an alternate way to get around the gate without having to go into the fortress and open the gate. Which actually, you know, we were just talking earlier about how the Maconis areas are more linear. And they are definitely, again, I want to make this clear. I'm not saying that they aren't. They are more linear than the Bionis areas. However, they're not strictly linear. This area being evidence of, like, you know, there were two different ways to get around this. You could, like, go up and take this path. Or maybe this is locked from the other side or something. I don't remember. But you could, like, try and go up around this way. Or you could, like, go through the, the giant gate if you opened it. Do, do. Hello. What's going on around here, huh? How's everyone doing? I do feel like I'm backtracking for no reason right now. Oh, yeah. See, look right here. You could have gone up this way to go around to go around the gate instead of opening it. But then we chose to open it instead. So, yeah, you know, even in the Maconis areas like Sword Valley, they're more linear, but they're not strictly linear. And I'm, I'm all for that kind of game design, personally. When you see a gate, you have to open it. It's the gaming rules. Yeah, that's true. Which is why we open the gate. I think we have to go more towards the direction of the main story before we can get the... Uh... I'm going to go up this way. I think we have to go more in the direction of the main story before we can activate that gate to be able to open it. And then there's that really strong unique back there, which I do want to go fight. Oh, I was about to say, where's the entrance to, like, go further here? And it's, it's right in front of my face. That is an ether river. Would not recommend getting in the Forbidden Mountain Dew, but I'm going to do it. Guys, get out of the Forbidden Mountain Dew. I fear I approach my limit. Yeah, you're in the Forbidden Mountain Dew. Get out of there, sister. Ether storage area. It is very green. My word. Mountain Dew has gone too far. Hell you. I think this is where you can start running into those tentacle mech on for the first time. Since you had to fight one is like a... A boss back when Juju was stolen. I think there should be one around here somewhere. 
I actually didn't even realize that was Ricky at first. Oh yeah, there's one right there. The flexible unit. Hello, M71. Time to die. Ugh, oh, tentacle growth. Please no. The source of our strength indeed. You will die, you stupid mech on stupid face. Prepare to die. No one can stop Dunban once he starts Beyblading. It makes him unbeatable. Sneaky sneak. I pressed it too early, I'm upset. The Japan what even unit? Fair. Dude, this thing is so dead. Dude, the amount of status debuffs that Ricky and Melia can uh, can uh, stack to with each other is insane. Have you tried Ghost of Tsushima Legend Mode? No, I haven't. I actually never did. I heard it was really good, though. Lone Wolf played a lot of it. He told me it was really sick. I just never got around to trying it out myself. I don't know why. I just never did. I'm sure it's amazing, though. Ghost of Tsushima was probably my favorite game of 2020. Well, my favorite new release. My favorite game that wasn't like a remake. Although, FF7 Remake, even though it says remake in the title, being considered a remake is kind of debatable. It's a really hard pick between Ghost of Tsushima and FF7 Remake. But, like, Ghost of Tsushima was definitely, if nothing else, one of the best games of, uh, of 2020. Like, top five, for sure. And then you gotta take into account, like, you know, if you take remakes into account, like Persona 5 The Royal and also, uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive, which we're playing right now, which is, like, one of my favorite games ever. Makes it a little difficult to, uh, make the claim of favorite game of 2020, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and blossom dance you with times four, that's fine. Why am I getting health back? Did I put on a gym that gives me health back when I hit stuff? What caused that? You must suffer more. You will know the pain you caused the Emperor and Fiora. Uh, goodbye. That times five zap with 100% lightning damage plus did way less than anticipated. I think this guy is just a lot stronger than I realized. Oh, he's dead. Oh yeah, Hades is like apparently the indie game of the year. I didn't play Hades, but uh, Michael, Michael, Pete, and Liam all love it. It's like, I'm pretty sure Liam said it was his favorite game of the year. Michael might have said that too, I don't remember. I'm sure it was good. There's definitely no way it was better than Ghost of Tsushima though. Ouch. Get toppled, fool. Get absolutely played. You buffoon, goodbye. How did that work out so well? Timing is everything. Remember that. <laughs> Thank you. That you Quality plate. No, more tentacle boys. What's wait a minute. I don't remember how to open the third can you open the third gate or do you go around the third gate? I don't remember. Do you like strategy games? Uh, it depends on the game. There are some I like, there are some I don't like. Like, yeah, exactly. Three Houses is a strategy game. I really like Three Houses. Uh, what was the other game I was going to say? Fire Emblem Awakening was an alright game, but there was some stuff I really didn't like about it. Who would dare challenge the hero pond? Nothing but a bunch of fools, that's it. That gold eye enemy might be a unique enemy. I can't remember. Yeah, hopefully I'll like Digimon Survive if that game ever actually releases. We can dream. I almost clicked that too early again. Ricky, sidekick, you cannot escape. Look at that beautiful damage. Oh, that was almost too slow. Nailed it. Good job, everyone. Well done, team. Well done. There's a gold chest. Oh, no, I think that enemy way back there is the unique enemy. Yeah. Look at how many of you there are. So many mech on to kill, so little time to murder them all. 
I mean, I'm gonna fight my way through your line of men to get to you. Everyone gather around now, everyone gather around. Yeah, benevolent whenever. Is this the Monado wound? I thought the Monado wound was behind gate three. I don't remember. I know the Monado wound is around here somewhere. I think it's called the Monado wound. Or I might just be getting the verbiage confused with the Makonis wound. Ricky! Ricky! Spear breath. Monado big ouchie spot. Yep, my favorite. Exactly how I remember it. Excuse me, flying boy, do you mind? I'm in the middle of murdering all of your comrades. I really don't have the time for this at the moment. Ricky, now! Got him. Ricky! Where are all of my chain links, brother? All right, well, you're dead. Goodbye. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, mine, mine. Hey, guys. Hey, you. Why don't you get in on this? Yeah, go get him, Ricky. Get his attention. There we go. Crush pow! Ricky, you got it. You can beat that one unique enemy all by yourself. I believe in you. But also chain attack. Freeze him up. No, Melia doesn't. Ricky! What is this three chain attacks in a row with no chain links? Are you kidding me right now? What is this nonsense? Who okayed this? I'd like to have a talk. The boy didn't even get to friggin' blossom dance. Excuse me, can you die, please? Thank you. All right, get get this guy out of here. This guy's gotta go. A chain attack, you say? Uh, Melia, I can't help but notice that you're at 300 HP. What happened, sister? What's going on with that? Is there something you'd like to tell the rest of the class? Apparently, I need to, uh, take some aggro from you. Hello. All right, if we can just make this an infinite chain link, we've got nothing to worry about. Yes, more suffering. Oh, this chain link is actually set up perfectly right now. Because I have a Blossom Dance, so I can Burninate and still get max Blossom Dance. Oh, let's go. The dream, ladies and gentlemen. If I can get, like, two more chain links, I think I'll kill it. Well, I at least got that one. Uh, max power Mind Blast? You rarely see that. I did a ton. And then that still goes on with Lurgy at max? Oh, my word. I'm amazed that this thing is alive. Well, now the chain link dream in. So I guess I'll take your aggro. All right, we're just going to chain link for the rest of the fight, if that's cool with everyone else. Uh, yep, just the rest of the fight. Going to keep doing this. Oh, my goodness. I realized it was times three, but that was so much healing. Uh, I'm going to kick him. That's, that's all Dunman has left is literally kicking the enemy. A uh, bolt, I guess. You're still alive, huh? We're still doing this? Is this gonna kill you? <laughs> that was one of the craziest chain links I've ever had. That was wild, man. I loved that. I think this is the Monado wound, isn't it? Because there's a giant hole in the ground. Yeah, the Monado wound. That is what it's called. I love that you can find areas like this from the very start of the game. Because that's, like, exactly what I'm saying. You know, like, I feel like most games... Not all games, but I feel like a lot of games, when they have, they show you a cutscene from, like, the start of the game, where it's like, look, this is where the a big battle took place that is gonna, like, lead to events in this game. You don't really, like, end up going right to where that battle was, like, the exact location, necessarily. But in this game, it's like, nah, dude, you can go right to where Dunban was fighting in the prologue. No problem. I still don't remember how you open the third gate. It's got to be somewhere further in here, I guess. All right, well, the only option now is to walk back the way we came. I can skip a little bit of walking by doing this. Although I might have just respawned all the enemies now that I think about it. I hope not. Ow, my knees. I needed those. Am I going the wrong way? I am. Ha! <laughs> 
and it did respawn all the enemies. Nice. My mistake. Oh, I left a chest there. I need that. This could be the most important chest in the game. It could have the uh, the last item I need for the final side quest. You never know when I'm going to need that quality plunger. Quality plungers don't come around every day, you know. I also really love that the Makona Sword has all of these... Uh... Oh, you can't walk up that? I thought you could. I love how the Makona Sword has all of these upper platforms and ramps and stuff you can walk up and go along. It's so awesome. Big fan. Big, big fan. I'll probably live a fall from this height. If I at least land on the ramp a little bit. Yeah, no problem. I actually took way less damage than I thought I would. Also, Ricky has uh, 6,900 HP right now. Nice. Got a nice 69 up in there. Oh, here's all these fools running around without their boss around anymore. What a bunch of idiots. 